In this video, I'm going to show you a program. I'm going to give you a special tutorial of how you can do video live using YouTube, right? This program can help you in terms of adding branding material and other features that you really would need to have your videos really stand out. And today we're going to learn about the YouTube effect of this program. So you want to pay attention to what I'm talking about today. I'm going to show you my screen, but you can go ahead and be edutainment. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're gonna learn about this program called StreamYard and how you can go live using video and how your videos can stand in out with using some of the tutorial features what I'm gonna show you right now. Now, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell when I do videos just like this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this message as well. So let me show you my screen and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right here, we have this program called StreamYard and you literally can go to Google. I'm gonna go to Google right now. And you can go here and I can type in StreamYard and StreamYard right here. So StreamYard, it is a program software used for video of how you can go live or you can do any type of video work here. It's the easiest way to create a professional live stream. And I wanted to show you this because it's something that's really been exploding the internet. And it's a feature that I use. I use StreamYard when I go live and doing other video stuff. And I want to share it with you. And down here, a couple of testimonials that people are talking about. The great Freight Kern said, dude, it's a great app effortless because you can download StreamYard right from your mobile device. But StreamYard is one of those good places. You got even got celebrities using it. You've got video creators that's using it. You have areas of different type of people all over the world that use them to go live on Facebook, YouTube, and now LinkedIn. They just added LinkedIn feature in there of how you can go live using LinkedIn. But today we're gonna just pay more attention to like just the video portion of YouTube. So let me go ahead and log in here. So right below this video, I do have a link right below this video of how you can go ahead and get signed up using StreamYard, the easiest way to create your professional live videos using StreamYard Live. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now. And pretty much, which what you do right here. I'm gonna log in, because I already have an account, but you'll start to create an account right here. So if you're new to StreamYard, you'll create your account right here. And then what happens is they'll get your, they'll email you the login code. So you'll, you'll email your login code if it's your first time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now. And so they just email me my login code. So I'm gonna look on my phone and see if I can grab that code real fast. So the code here, it even looks just like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's the code there. And so I'm gonna type in the code. Five, two, there you go. So that is my digital code for me to go ahead and log in there. And so right now, here's we are on StreamYard right now. So right here, let's click on destinations and you can add destinations. So this is where you would go ahead and add your destinations or where you wanna go live or what type of videos in terms of that platform you want to actually use. So you can use any of these, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Periscope. So if I say, okay, let's just concentrate on YouTube, I will click onto YouTube right here because first thing you wanna do is set up your destination spots and then you wanna go ahead and broadcast just like it says right here. So if I click on YouTube right there, it's gonna have me to go ahead and connect to YouTube. So I will connect to YouTube right here by clicking, this is my YouTube account that's tied into, and I click there again, and it's basically allowing me to be connected with the Google account and StreamYard together. Remember, StreamYard is a video software that allows you to do live streaming right from YouTube and other platforms as well. So you click here, it says manage your YouTube account. You could click here to find out what the information is about. That's basically telling you your view and manage your video playlist is right here. Just let you know that we get it all connected and ready to go. So I'll allow the risk, allow everything to happen. And voila, there you go. I'm already connected right here. So then the next thing you wanna do, you create a broadcast. This is the YouTube one right here that I just added. We'll talk about the Facebook and other features in another video. But today we wanna to really pay attention literally to YouTube. If you wanna go live on YouTube or if you wanna do private videos on YouTube or anything like that, we're gonna go over YouTube features today of this tutorial. 
So then I'll click right here. And then this will be the name of my video. So the title of it could be how to, how to do a live video using StreamYard. Ha <laughs> ha, how about that on YouTube? So that'll be the, the title of it. And the description, it'd be the description of your actual video. So I'm gonna go live here. So what's the description gonna look like? So you can just say, I could do something really quick. YouTube. Okay. And in the privacy here, now you can actually go public, unlisted, and private. So public means everybody on your YouTube channel will be able to view this on public. So it goes completely out to the universe. So pretty much when you go live, it's a public feature. If you go private, that means pretty much only you can see it. And when you go unlisted, that's you can see it, but you can also share with other people and they can see the action video itself. So let's say if I want to send it to my friend for them to view my video, but I don't want it to go public or private, he or she will be able to view that video without it being listed um, on the public on the private feature. I use unlist a lot, basically sharing it first and then I eventually move it over to public. Or I'll do a video and if I feel like I need to edit it, I'll use the unlisted feature and then when I'm ready to go public, I sometimes use this feature called schedule because you can actually schedule these things out. You also can go ahead and upload your thumbnail and things like that. So if we were doing a video and we we're gonna schedule it, we can schedule in an adventure in the future, in the future here and with this thumbnail feature right there. But right here, we're gonna go ahead and use the unlisted prop feature there. And we're gonna create the moment right now. Check this out, let me move this right here. So right now it's connecting StreamYard. So now you're gonna go into the back office of StreamYard. And right here, since I'm already doing my video right here, it's not gonna allow me to show my picture right here. But what I'll do is, I'll, um, it'll say start your camera, it won't let me do that right now. But the microphone will be right here. You see the microphone is working there. And then my face will be here, but since I'm doing this video right now, it's not gonna show my camera right there. And then here's another feature here. You can change all your settings here, your camera, your audio, and even your green screen right there and your camera features are right there. Really, really simple explanatory. Your display name, I'll, you can have your name there, the name of your company, the name of your product, the name of what you're trying to talk about, it'll go right there. So right now that I enter the studio, and right now that I'm in the back office of the studio, and right here, let me see if I can move this over. You can see this corner here, let's see. Okay, so right here is the comments here. So you here's the comments when people will be chatting with. So pretty much, let me look over this over here. So the comments is just people coming in and when they come into your video, so you'll start seeing their comments right here. Your banner features here, you can add actually personalization. So I can say YouTube, YouTube StreamYard, that's the folder name. And under the folder name, I can add little bitty crossing banners. I can say, you know, YouTube now, check this out. When I do that and I show it, it shows up right here. You see that? YouTube now. And I also can say I can edit it and I'm gonna have it going across. If I save here and I can use it as a ticker, check this out. YouTube now, you see that? It's pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool. So you can use a ticker or you can use pretty much just the sign signal right there and you can edit it. I can do stream yard. Same thing, ticker that. So that's how you do your banners. It's pretty much any information you wanna have there. You can just, um, that's just like I did there. I just started a new folder and pretty much start adding your banner there and it goes right there. So your brand here is your brand color. So you can change your brand colors by clicking there and just going by whatever color you would want there. Or if you have the actually hex in the coloring, you, um, the numbers, I mean, the hex numbers, you can type in your numbers there. I have my hex numbers of my branding colors actually right here. Where is it at? It's actually right here, right here. So I always write down my little hex branded colors, which is blue and gold and green and a dark blue, which is this one right here. The default signals here, you can go, which one? You can go, this is the default one that you usually go here, so I'll show you real quick. If I was just having this, 
me uh, edit that, take this scroll off. So if I said, you see that right there, right? If I go back to branding, I can go right here. You see that? So I can go right there. So I can change the actually theme. And here's a question mark to basically tell you exactly what that means at the question marks. If you're unsure, you just click on the question marks there. The logo, just like it said, you can upload your new logo here. I have a logo there. I could take it in, take it off, as you see right here. And if you have a logo, you can just go here and just add your logo if you already have it. And the specs is right here. And your logo will appear in the top right of the corner of your video. And these are logo, or you can use a, you know, the Power by StreamYard. You can use their simple one as well. Um, right here, the overlay is basically is going to be what's going to be behind it. So this is the standard StreamYard behind overlay that you use. But once again, you can upload yours as well. And here's the specs for that as well. So here's the specs there. You click on a question mark or you can use their overlay for your live video. Background, the same, same thing. Here's the background piece of it. So when you're doing your video, if you're zooming out on your video live, this is what they will see. They're going to see that straight up right there. Let me go ahead and turn this banner off. Go ahead and, and show it off. So there you go. So pretty much that's what that looks like there. You can also do your own background, upload it right here as well. I've got a couple here that I use of background when I was using some previewing features. And then display names is just kind of like there where it will display. If you want your name to be displayed or not, or not, you use that. But this basically show you the question mark there. Private chat, if you were doing some type of video that requires privately with your, your clients or your guests, you can you chat with them privately. That only works usually when you invite more people in, which you would go right here. When you invite people, you can click right there and you give them the link right there. You can get up to 10 people, up to 10 people, and you can invite them by clicking on the invite button right there. Really easy to do. And that's how you use your private, privately chat privately with your guests is basically the 10 people you'll invite up in here. Up to 10 people, you can chat and talk with them as well right through there in the video feature right here. You also can share your screen by clicking share screen. And it tells you sharing screen is easiest with two monitors. So if you have two monitors, it's really easy to do. But if you don't have two monitors, it is still capable just by clicking share screen here. And it'll tell you exactly what Windows do. You can go to YouTube. So any applications you have, you can go ahead and share that. So if I was trying to share, um, let me see if I can share something. If I was sharing, let's see here. I'm sharing that content calendar. So basically you'll see that, see that? So basically you see the content calendar. So you basically can see that right there. So let me go ahead and go back to it. And so, so I go went back to it. So basically you can share your screen right there. So by clicking there, and this is all your settings here, your camera and your microphone settings. And if you want to leave the studio and at this top here, you can go live at the top here, bottom here, it just tells you, you can edit pretty much the information. If I click on edit, you can edit my title, my description, and then send them unlisted. We can go public or private and you just click on save changes and let's see anything else and then views on youtube you can actually click on there and allow you to view an action on youtube so you can actually see it and still be live here so you want to click on the view on youtube if you want to see how it looks on youtube you just click on the view youtube there and you go live right in there as well so that's pretty much the features of it. it's pretty simple standardary i wanted to do youtube only and i'm going to do i'm going to do a video that discuss linkedin and facebook and it's really about the same thing. Facebook's a little bit more different because they have some few extra steps with that because in Facebook, you can use it doing your Facebook groups, Facebook pages, and also your Facebook profile. So you can go live through three different areas of Facebook where YouTube, you really just going live in one particular area, but you can also use it as an unlisted video, private or public. So my next video I would do is gonna go over Facebook Live using StreamYard. I love StreamYard because it's really good for branding, building your business and getting your message out there because it's exactly what you wanna do. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like on that video message. 
Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and give me some comments and shares if you feel like this video was really, really helpful for you. And also, I've got some description information below this video about starting your online business or going ahead and growing your brand. I have a course for you as well to help you in terms of growing your brand on Facebook in terms of traction marketing and attracting people to you and your business. I have all that information right below this video. So thank you for liking this video and thank you for watching it. I really like StreamYard and also I do have StreamYard information right below this video. Click on the link to get started with StreamYard as well and I'll see you on the next video because I can't wait to see you again.